Hey guys, welcome to Nurse in the Garden. Um, today it is actually a very nice day here in New York. It's like 73 degrees out here. And um, I'm just trying to look around to see the things that I could try to complete. Not complete, but maybe start. Because <laughs> I haven't really done a whole lot as far as like gardening, my gardening space and things like that. Um, as you can see, like right here is like my area that I'm going to be doing my raised beds and right over here in this area I want to do um, beans I want to do those yard long beans so I am thinking of just putting some compost down in that area just to kind of get it started um, for when I'm ready to direct directly sow those seeds I have compost here which I got from the Queens Botanical Garden. And I have my little compost bin right here. I'll show you guys, it's like right under there, the gray bin. And then I have a ton of leaves, which I probably didn't store too correctly. And those leaves are kind of composting as well, which is cool. I need to kind of research a little bit more about leaf compost and all that stuff, but I am uh, gonna use, uh, potentially be using a lot of those leaves for mulching once they're, um, once I can use them for mulching. I have to like do some more research on that. If anyone has any advice about leaf mulch, let me know because I have all these leaves that I saved up primarily for compost so I can compost um, during the year but now a lot of that stuff is breaking down. And as I said, I didn't really store it too well. I should have purchased uh, leaf, leaf bags or leaf bags, however it said. Anyway, so today I wanna try to fill up my containers. And also I wanna give you guys an update about my uh, winter sewing, which has been really exciting to see. Okay, so I actually did some extra winter sewing after I did that video. I did set out um, a container just to try out to see if it would work. A container of lettuce and spinach. So I'm going to see if I can try to transplant that into those containers over there. Um, and then I direct sewed some basil, which was actually a mistake. I wasn't supposed to direct it sow the basil um, because basil is not a cold tolerant plant that was kind of a boo-boo but I did oregano and look I thought it was a lost cause and look little oregano are popping up I'm so excited so this actually is really dry this was not an ideal container for some reason this container this particular one did not do as well as this container I don't know if it's because of the height but keep in mind that this container will not do as good as the, the much um, bigger one. But I wanted to show you guys my onions. Do you guys see that? And look inside. Oh wow, my onions are coming up. Did not even think that this would have worked. Look at those onions in there. Let's see if I can. Wow. So all of these are onions here. Get it to focus. There it is. And then I also did, what was this? This was, oh, this was green onion. I, I did it, I sewed it afterwards. And look at that. Green onions coming up. And here it is cilantro. Look at that. And then this last one is celery, which probably will take forever in a day to sprout because the ones inside did the same thing. But how exciting! My winter sewing efforts worked. Yeah, this is this is really cool. So I hope to be able to transplant these into my raised gardens over here, my raised beds, and my raised gardens. But there's a lot of work to be done, cleanup, and organization and all that stuff is a lot to be done but I'm excited oh just wanted to share one other thing so you see how the sun right now the sun is over up that way so it's being shaded by the garage 
but I do get a good six hours or so from the morning. Once it becomes uh, actual summer, more into spring, more into summer, when the sun is rising, it rises from this direction. So then I get a lot more sun on this area. And I've, I planted here tw two years in a row, more so closer to the garage. So I kind of know the direction of the sun and what it gets. So when I see this shading, I get very nervous. I'm like, oh my gosh, did I choose the wrong place? Did I remember incorrectly? But I actually do get decent sun in this area. Alrighty, so the compost looking beautiful. And it has a bit of like the wood breakdown in it, which is fine, I think, for this area, because this area has a bunch of wood chips. But I'm gonna put down a good amount into this area because I already have the visualization of what I want to do here and it's gonna rain tomorrow so I figure this will be a great idea to do it like this now kind of work it in and let the rain fall on it because before we know it honestly guys spring is practically here and before we know it it's our last frost date here in New York and the birds agree. It's gonna be our last frost date. And we're gonna be planting outside very soon. And I wanna be as ready as I possibly can be. Try to take some of these roots out. Some roots that I threw out just now. But um, sorry for the shaky camera. I'm trying to do all this and point to the camera. <laughs> point the camera to what I'm doing. So I'm going to do that right about here. I'm going to put just a bit more. So this soil that's in this area is actually from old containers. From my container gardening last year. And um, I just threw all of the dirt here because I figured what else am I going to do with it. So, yeah, there should be enough compost for this area here. Right, so I'm going to do the planting right in this particular area because as you see, this is sort of drenched. And it's because the garage falls into this area here. So I would have to plant like right here, or at least like here and here. And then I'm going to have a trellis, which I'm looking into trying to figure out which trellis would work best um, at least for my budget and for the area so I'm not good with math but I'm gonna say that's about three inches of compost <laughs> that I put in right there so I think that's a great landmark yeah that's perfect okay so I'm gonna be using some of this soil and my compost and mixing it and putting it into these containers to start. So I'm going to be putting like a lot of my herbs and uh, the spinach, a few things in there um, for the summer. So I'm just going to mix that. I was going to be a little bit more complicated and do the Mel's mix from the square foot gardening. But honestly, like it's very pricey and I'm really trying to be as cost effective as I can. So. I have the compost which will work really well and I'm going to mix it through and hope for the best because I did well in So I ended up mixing the potting mix and the compost in here. So in a few days I'm going to come and try to pot these up with um, the lettuce, the spinach, the cilantro. So that'll be a great project in a few days. So I just wanted to check in with you guys and show you my uh, winter sewing efforts which is really great i'm so excited so i think next year i'm going to try more um i'm going to try more vegetables in there even flowers maybe it depends we'll see but definitely vegetables these onions they they, they came through and they look amazing oh my gosh oh anyway so hope you guys enjoyed this little check-in